Hi. Um. So yeah. Um. I'm going to be taking down my laptop. Um. Tearing down my laptop um, for the second time ever, and it's because it's overheating, and I need to reapply some thermal paste um, so that things um, run a bit cooler. So it's a gaming laptop and it really sucks when your gaming laptop can't play games because the thermal paste is dry. Um, so there's that. So I've done this once before um, and it's a whole process. It's such a process that I actually need to start from this corner um, because there are multiple layers to this laptop. So because there are multiple layers, I will be moving across the disc as I go through the layers. So I got the laptop, guess what? I was like super happy, you know, like the big selling point was that, um, well not the big selling point, but one of the things that I liked was that it's got one screw at the bottom, uh, not at the bottom, outside, and I was like, oh wow, it's gonna be an easy open, right? Uh, it's just one screw, you open that one screw and you're into your laptop up until I tried to change um, the thermal paste. The first time, that's when I realized, actually, yeah, sure, you've got one screw, you open that and you get access to the important things. So for example, your hard drive, your SSD, you can also switch your two RAM slots and your battery without opening any other extra screws. But if you want to do something more, change the keyboard, change the fans, um, change the thermal paste, you've got a whole puzzle to go through. Uh, so the puzzle is what we are going to be going through um, today. So yeah, um, we can... We can get right into it, I guess. Um, Nope. So first rule of opening a laptop is you have to first take off the battery. So that is what I'll do first. Put this to the side. Um, right. So in terms of school management, uh, what I do whenever I open um, a laptop, and I learned this from Ed. So Ed is our resident um, techie laptop guy and all of that. Uh, so he taught me that you should have a screw map. So it's essentially a map of the screws, their layout, as you take them apart. Uh, so that uh, should you need to put them back, you know exactly the orientation um, of the screws. So that's our SSD out.
unless I believe you'll be the wife I got. So I've been too quiet, so I guess I have to say something. Uh-huh. But yeah. That should be the wife I got. There goes my ram. Oh, I would like to believe layer one is complete. So, yeah, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Layer one is complete. I now need to move to layer two. So, layer one, that's it. Um, that's pretty much getting access to the motherboard and the heat sinks which are under there but before we get to that we have to detach motherboard and the fans <coughs> and the fans and the heat sink um, from each other so to do that that's where we now have layer two screws uh, which we have to deal with now so let's get right into that um,
layer two done. Um, I'll just keep layer one and layer two in the same clip. But yeah, that was layer two. Layer three is where we actually want to get to the pieces and stuff. So this is where we are now. I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't know what I'm missing. Last week. But you have to get to layer 3 for you to actually be able to repaste. 